Hey y'all, this is Matt with Wacky Works. Today we're gonna take three pieces here and put them together to make a castle joint. I've always been fascinated with a castle joint. Thought it was a, an excellent way to join three pieces together to make a corner, the tables or whatever it is. But I'm gonna try to do it today without using too many hand tools. Try not to make it so complicated. Let's see if we can't get it done mostly with the table saw. So. Let's get going. We start off by 4Sing some material so that it's all the same size. We then mark it in thirds so that we know our outside and our center are going to be exactly the same. I've gone ahead and done that off screen and um, went ahead and made this jig so that I keep it at a 90 degree angle. set our blade height based off the thickness of the material. What I'm trying to do is minimize the amount of measurements that we have to make. If we can use the material as the measurement, it's a lot easier than guessing about the exact height and having to sneak up on your cuts. We'll go ahead and cut our third side of the fence, leaving the center section to be the third to be cut out. Cut this to the height of our material, which will make it so that it sits exactly flush on top of the castle joint. We'll, do, we'll turn it 90 degrees, cut all four sides this way, making our cuts exactly Step the blade over one eighth of an inch and nibble away some more material so that we don't have to take it off of the chisel. I'm using a blade that's flat all the way across compared to an alternating tooth. The alternating tooth would make it so that you put the chisel more material on this makes it so that it goes a little faster. took additional time on the table saw so I wouldn't have had to use a chisel, but I decided just to go ahead and use a chisel to clean out the rest of the material. It's pretty quick and easy. When using a chisel, make sure you have a backer board so that if you go through, you're not hitting onto the metal and ruining your blade. Luckily, I had stopped before I went through the other side. I'm going to continue to clean both sides out, actually all four sides get rid of the excess material and make sure it's nice and smooth. Now we'll mark the castle part on top of the expansion points. Make sure to label each side with a designated letter. This way, when we go to line it back up, it'll line up perfectly. You also want to mark the top and bottom this way when you put it back together, it'll match up with the corresponding side. Even though you're marking the castle portion on it, draw a line across to nibble off the entire third section on each side. This way it kind of makes it almost like a half lap joint on each side. You'll do the same thing with the opposite side. Make sure that you mark it with the correct orientation and the correct sides. Now to cut out the sides, make sure that you lower your blade so it's to the one-third section. I use a table sled to be 
be able to accurately line up my cuts. Some people use a miter gauge. Cut both ends, keep yourself a definition of both sides, and then nip away the center. Do this again on the opposite side. that you line up the proper sides facing the bottom to the bottom and the top to the top and slide them together. If you need to make additional cuts or sand, sometimes that's necessary to get them to line up since it's such a tight fit. Now mark your half lap pieces. I make sure to mark both sides that need to be cut. When you put the pieces back inside the castle joint, you'll accurately be able to mark the locations of where the cuts need to be made. Then all you have to do is divide that in half, and you'll have a half lap on the sides. I'm using a set of calipers to get the overall measurement, and I'll be able to divide that in half. calipers I can accurately set the depth of my blade. I'll use a chisel to sneak up on the line to get a little better fit. It's a little Also a little bit of sandpaper to make fine adjustments and it should fit. Well, that's a castle joint. It, uh, turned out pretty well. Let me know how you feel down below. Leave a comment, like, subscribe. I really greatly appreciate it. Y'all have a good one until next time.